You know, when I look around at all the entrepreneurs who are grinding it out, spending 70 to 80 hours per week growing their business, you have to ask yourself the question, at what cost? Hi, my name is Tim Uchuk, and in this podcast, we're going to be exploring the tools, tactics, and strategies for crushing it and scaling your business without making the ultimate sacrifice of your time and freedom. What's up, everybody? Tim Uchuk here. Hope you are well. It is a rainy, cloudy day here on the island, and it's a Friday at the time that I'm recording this, and I wanted to do a quick episode about a post that I did on Facebook about, I think it was about a week ago, and I was talking about a piece of paper with two words on it and um, how meaningful it was to me and and how everything really shifted in, in our world and in my business just by two words written on a little piece of paper. And my hope for you is that it provides some inspiration um, to help you just move forward within your life and business. And it uh, it's an interesting story. I mentioned in the post it was a it was a um, coming full circle moment for me because over the last uh, I would say month we've been doing these things called a walk in the woods. And um, if you're a business owner, you've got a lot of hats. It's, it's hard for a lot of business owners and I'm no different. I, I've got hacks and tricks for doing this. When you get home from, from work, turning off your brain, taking off that work hat and putting on your, your hat so that you can be present. You can be a present you know, dad or wife or husband or mom. So you can just be present because um, that, that old term, pay attention, there's a reason why, why they use the term pay because your attention is currency. And so we go on these things called a walk in the woods because it's a very intentional way that I can spend time and be present with uh, with my kids. And sometimes my wife joins, but sometimes it's me taking the kids and, and giving my wife some time. Anyways, we do these things called a walk in the woods and it's, it's just we go for a walk in the woods. It's uh, sans electronics without that's French for without, by the way without electronics. And it's just me, uh, me being present, me trying to be a good dad uh, each day. Okay, so getting back to this piece of paper and why it's important. Well, my wife and I were were dreamers and I think most entrepreneurs were were a breed of dreamers. And um, something I've been doing since I was like 20 is thinking really long and hard about what are the things, you know, we've, we've got one life, we could get hit by a bus tomorrow, right? So what are the things in this one life that we have that, I, that are meaningful and that I want to accomplish. Now, when I was when I was in my twenties, it was more about it was more about things, uh, and I would write down things like I'm not even kidding you. Uh, a Dyson vacuum cleaner was one of them in my twenties. A, uh, a motorcycle. Um, what else? I had written down um, an Ironman. You know, I wanted to do an, an Ironman and complete one of the toughest races in the world. And I would write these things down on a piece of paper and I'd put them in a jar. And uh, I would just keep them there. And by getting them from my head and grabbing a, a pen and uh, making them external, writing them actually down, making them tangible, it, it's weird. I, I can't explain it, but every single one of them, the universe has, has conspired and, and I've achieved them. You know, I, I ended up getting a motorcycle. I mean, it's not far fetched, obviously, but just the mere fact of writing them down was that first step of commitment to say, you know, it's, it's important enough to, to move it from thought to uh to make it into something tangible and that just being on a piece of paper so i ended up getting a a yamaha fjr 1300 from it was in in really good shape from the fire chief in in uh, abbotsford bc so um dyson vacuum cleaner obviously got that iron man uh, did the one in france in 2012 and the full circle moment where i'm going with this story is that i remember a few years back writing down ocean house my wife and I, not just to have an ocean house, but we wanted the experience of raising our kids on the ocean. Really important to us, but here's the thing. My business is located in Edmonton, which is in the prairies, which is, what is that, 14 hour drive from the ocean. So this was, uh, this was, a, this was a stretch to get this thing done and actually pull this thing off. And, you know, initially it's like, you know, maybe when we retire, when we're, when we're 60, that would be great. We can do that. But the more we, we got thinking about it, the more we were thinking, you know, what our, our kids are, are relatively young right now. And do we want to wait 
until they're out of high school to to do this or is it important enough that we want to actually you know enjoy low tide walks and and that time with our kids while they're still young because you know the the sad sobering fact is that we spend you know i think it's around 80 percent of the time that we'll ever spend with our kids is prior to high school graduating high school it's pretty sad to think about isn't it 80 percent or more of the time that we'll ever spend with our children is uh, prior to them graduating high school. This was the primary driver for us to say, you know what? Okay, do we want it bad enough? That's that's the first question. We wrote it down. Number one, do we want it bad enough? And wholeheartedly answer the question was yes. And so think about, think about the things that you want to accomplish in your life. Number one, do you want it bad enough? Or in other words, is it important? If the answer is yes, move to the question two, which is, is it possible? So number one, is it important? Number two, is it possible? And you know what? <laughs> if Elon Musk can uh, can occupy Mars and is working in that direction, for us to be able to move our family and, and still uh, run our business remotely, yes, it's possible. Um, is it easy? No, but that's why the first question is important. Is it important? Because if it's important, then you're going to have the endurance to to push through and, and get it done if it's possible. Right. And so it's funny because these these two words, Ocean House, written on a small piece of paper, those two small words on the small piece of paper are what drove us to put a lot of things into place. A lot of things. Believe me, it wasn't easy. Um, obviously, hindsight's 2020, but a lot of things had to happen. You know, how, how can you run your your business remotely? Well, a lot of things have to be in the cloud. You have to be able to see things, you know, trust, but verify, you know, inspect what you expect and have the right team in place, the right systems and structure in place. And um, it all came this this big dream. We moved here in uh, in February. It all came as a result of writing those two words down on a piece of paper. So my challenge to you, if you're sitting right now in this very moment, there's things that you've been putting off for for a lot of uh, too much time. I recommend you take that first step. It is very low risk and um, grab a piece of paper, write down what you want in your life. That's step one, get it out of your head, write it down. We don't need a fancy template, write that thing down. Grab a jar, I know it's very low tech and put it in there. That's the first step. That's always been the first step for me. And then the, the next step is to ask the two questions. Number one, is it important? If it's not, then ignore it. Don't even bother doing it. Number two, is it possible? If it is, let's figure out what are the things, what's the gap between where you are sitting today and where you need to, to be to close that gap and, and fulfill whatever you wrote that down on that piece of paper. That's been my trick. It's, it's not fancy, but it works. And um, if you can answer those two questions, make it tangible, get it out of your brain, write it on paper, that's the first step towards uh, you know committing to getting it done. I hope that's helpful, um, but yeah, I've, I've been doing the GR thing and, and the, and the post-it note thing for uh, a long time. Hope that's helpful, guys, and serves you. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Hey, Tim Uchuck here, and real quick, if you enjoyed this podcast episode, if you could take a couple quick seconds to give it a rating, it would be very much appreciated. And secondly, if you're looking for more tools and strategies on how you can crush it in life and business, just head on over to bookwithtim.com, where I've put together a free case study which shows you how to unlock unprecedented freedom today by using the two power levers. Just head on over to bookwithtim.com. Until next time, wishing you success and freedom in your business. Cheers.